Uh, he's back this week in bowling for sure. Tournament leader, first shot. Capacity crowd here at the Forum Lanes. Watch the profile and the five-step full approach delivery of Bob Benoit. Look at him roll that ball back on the wrist, much like Jimmy Keith, who we saw last year a couple times in the championship round. Then release that wrist underneath the ball. That what initiates the tremendous hook power that has made Benoit so successful in his comeback. He didn't have that type of shot when he came out here in the early 80s. He was a straight ball player. championship pair two games on it during competition he had 245 and 241 by far the best of the five on this pair so now we get a look at the night average 222 42 games final 24 games he won 19 and lost five last night seven of eight he backed off for no one. Everybody said he'd falter, and then they predicted today that he would bend under the pressure of Roth, but he hasn't so far. And this 33-year-old has a three-bagger. Good numbers for Bob Benoit. Watch how Bob Benoit holds that ball. He just rolls it back on his wrist. He used to be a straight ball player where he held his wrist flat. He started practicing with uh, a light ball so he could do that. And he still only uses a 15-pound ball, Chris. I have not seen any pros been mm -hmm. successful, especially right-handers on the Pro Tour with a 15-pound ball. Some of the left-handers have tried it. Mike Albee tried it, and Dave Davis, uh, two of the great lefties, have tried it. But they could play a little bit more outside angle. But Noit doing it on the right side is just amazing. He has so much a big hook. And a professional that's 5 feet 9 inches tall and weighs 130 pounds has four in a row in the title game. Shooting in the fifth. Bob Benoit, who relinquished himself to regional play, won three regional championships in the last couple years, Corpus Christi, Texas, Denison, Texas, and McAllen, but this is his first chance at a national title. The tournament leader, in order to we asked him if he felt he had an edge going into the title game. Who lived here for 11 years, bold league in this house, Chris. Mm -hmm. What a way to go for broke. He's perfect through five. Now, if he can get six more, two value. Seven in a row. Thing of beauty to watch uh, perfection. Look out for a guy down on one knee. You can just bet that's a good tip off that a player thinks he's throwing a good shot. When you see him walking left or right or those eyeballs opening up a little too big, you know he may have problem. But when they're down on one knee, you can bet it's close. Scoreboard tells the story. Blanco of True Value back in Chicago. Hope he's watching. He's proven that he has the medal to be a professional bowler. Now let's see if he can have bowling immortality. He's only four strikes away from his first title and a perfect game. And now he needs three more. Chris, the strike locks up the title. Oh. He cannot lose the title. No matter what Roth does, 258 will not be enough to win. Now it's just a matter of can he take all the money, a possible $127,000 paycheck in his first appearance, 10th frame. in his brow are getting deeper. 
But I think your shot's even getting better, if that's possible. Everybody, you're absolutely correct, Chris. A lot of people said to me, this young man will choke. I says, don't count out these tough young guys. He's probably been whipped around a schoolyard by some bully sometime, but put a bowling ball in his hand and look out. He's Superman. He's got ten in a row. Susan. Oh, the pressure on this sweet blonde. Tears in her eyes. And if this doesn't get your heart pumping, I doubt if there's much that will. <laughs> One to go for a hundred thousand smackers. This is where years of practice come in, into play. There's really not much you can think about. It's all natural ability. Keep your eyes on your target and hope the dear Lord wants you to have it. There it is. <laughs> 